what's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing, you spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Good morning, you guys. And today is Wednesday. And I know you're probably wondering, like, Sheree, why are you up at 6.43 a.m.? I'm asking myself the same thing. But it's a day to my birthday, T minus one day. Is that how you say it? I think it is. Um, but I know that my hair is about to be straight today, which means I can't go to the gym. I have naturally curly hair, as you guys know, so when my hair is straightened, any type of style like that, especially for my birthday, I take off from the gym, not because I really like want to, but because I have to, because my hair will curl up with the quickness. I'm trying to get like that last good strenuous <laughs> workout before I can't work out for um, a couple of, like a week or so. But y'all can get the gist of like how hard Sheree's really going today because we trying to have these legs shaking by the end of the workout, okay? <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll see y'all at the gym in just a second. All right, you guys, so we are starting off with just going to the locker room and changing our shoes. So I usually like to go into the gym with slides on just so I don't get my off lights dirty because they're like a canvas material, so they get dirty pretty easily. But I do like to lift and do um, leg days in flat shoes. I just feel my workouts a lot more in my, in my glutes and like my legs overall versus wearing some like really heavily padded shoes. So then I'm just checking out myself in the mirror. You have to look in the mirror before I go outside just to make sure everything is looking right and tight. And of course, I cannot have an amazing workout without some earphones. I'm just using my Apple AirPods and then I'm gonna jump on the Stairmaster. So I like to just do a five minute warm up on the Stairmaster just to get the blood flowing to my legs and everything. And so after I just do like a slow, um, slow pace, then I'll like skip every other step and do like some glute kickbacks or I'll like turn side to side as you can see here, just to target like the side of my glute to get everything warmed up before we, you know, try to demolish them. I hit the switch for the band. This is my head is. I feel resentment from every direction. Even so after I finish on the Stairmaster, I just do like some functional stretching. Not like really stretching out my muscles, just kind of getting loose so that when I'm, you know, doing each exercise, I'm not super stiff and tight. And I just have like really mostly like good hip mobility and everything like that. I'm drinking water and wearing protection. Got a career and I'm very invested. Some people call it a scary obsession. I can call it a passion. I can be sitting relaxing. PG, we getting some traction. I'm at the venue, it's packed. I'm digging her accent. I got a BB Simon belt on me, and she trying to get it. I'm passing. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she laughing. Come on. So jumping into our first exercise, I'm doing the seated leg extension. As you can see here, I'm just taking the little pad that you use for hip thrust, and I put it behind my back, like at the lower part, just so it like it fills in that gap because. I don't know, I'm just like, I guess I'm not tall enough for this machine because it's not really adjustable as much. So I just like to put that pad in there just to like fill the gap. And so this machine honestly allows you to focus on, you know, individual legs in case you have one that's stronger than the other. So for this particular workout, I was doing one leg, one leg, and then both. So one leg, one leg, and then, you know, both at the same time, that's one rep. And I did four sets of 10. And I'm telling you this single leg, single leg, and then, a, you know, all one together, Girl, if you want to be shaken by the second set, do this. I'm telling you, game changer. I love it so much. It burns so good. And yeah, absolutely love this. Seems like she vibes. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's because they live at the high. Full L stuff team stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it. I cannot just hide. Whoa. So I really like to start with um, an exercise that really targets what I'm trying to hit. So this is leg day, but it's a quad focused leg day. So that's really why I like to start with that leg extension. So moving right along into hack squat. You guys, I've just recently started incorporating this into my quad focused leg days. And when I say it hurts so bad, it's such like a new and different feeling when I'm doing it. So any, you know, exercise that, I, that you're trying out for the first time, it's going to feel like kind of uncomfortable and just awkward. And I just kind of play around with just different feet positioning and things like that. But I absolutely love this one as well. It hurts. As you can see, I'm barely doing any weight. But oh my gosh, I was struggling. I was truly struggling and I don't like it, but I still do it because, listen, it's going to get the quads right every time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 
got sex in the car. Oh the Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a so next we are jumping into heel elevated goblet squats honestly i'm not gonna lie i should have went heavier on these this 50 was like not too challenging honestly but um oh i forgot to tell you for the hack squats i did four sets of 10 and i went up weight each set but yeah so these elevated goblet squats i did four sets of 12 like i said i should have went heavier but i was already tired for those first two exercises so i was like you know what this is as good as we're gonna get today um but i do like to you know elevate my heels because it just allows more tension and allows you to target your glutes more and then also holding the weight in front of you allows the same thing so next we're jumping into calf raises i honestly be forgetting to work my calves y'all but it's so important because it just helps your legs all together just look a lot more curvy and especially in heels like i'm definitely a heels girl and and calf, some nice calf muscles and heels make the world of a difference. With these seated calf raises, I did four sets of 15. And these hurt really bad too. Like I can't go as heavy as I would love, but I, I be forgetting to work them. So we gonna get a, we gonna get it together. Next, I'm doing the seated leg press. Um, I do go up each. I go up a plate each um, each set, and I did four sets of twelve. So I think I started out with one plate, and I just went up each set. So I finished off with four plates. I think sometimes if I'm really trying to like push it or max, I'll do five plates. But I think this day four was feeling really heavy. I don't know what was going on. Maybe because this was my what number was it? One, two, three, four. fifth exercise. But your girl was tired. But I'd never skip this on like a, a leg day either. I'm tired of these dribbles, I'm going at jerseys and dollars and dinners. You spotted, I finished, I told you we with it. My word is like gold in my city. I tell them to go, they gon' get it. I heard that you froze when they hit it. Putting these holes in the business, you know that you tripping. I tell them no, they gon' listen. So once I'm finished with that, I go in and I do just, you know, the traditional um, leg extension. This is mostly just so that I can really just make sure I'm tiring out that muscle. And also it does feel a little different than like, you know, the single leg one that I did earlier. And then also I do a five second hold at the end. So I did four sets of 10 with this and I went up weight each set and that five second hold at the end, it's gonna do it every time. Your legs will be on fire. And then just for a finisher, I just do some um, walking lunges. So to target more of your quads, you kind of want to stand, be standing like more upright. And then when you're doing, when you try to target your glutes, you want to have more of a hinge at the hip. So you want to bend over a little more. So I put my hands on my head just so I can kind of keep that upright position and just feel it all on my quads. And I definitely did. By this time, you know, I was tired. And I was like, you know what, should I just push a little harder? So I would do, you know, a, a rep and then I would do a pulse with each um, rep girl i almost fell out but i pushed through it for y'all i look like i'm doing it really easily right here but i promise you i really wanted to just lay down and just take like a 10 minute nap but i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going bougie, I'm